So how is dad life, man? How's it how's it going? It's going good. I mean, most people say the terrible twos, but I think I'm in we're the terrible threes. Cause she uh she's all she she knows how to use the whining to try to manipulate you. <laughs> <laughs> Seth through YouTube. I was following him on YouTube early on when most of us kind of started out putting content out on our channels and just getting involved in this community and in the early stages and um, he's continued right on through like myself and a lot of other guys to keep growing this community and I was watching his videos and it, it took me a little while to realize like some of the stuff he was talking about and showing in the video. I'm like, hey, that looks familiar. I'm like, does this guy actually live by me so then I did like a little bit of researching you know going back through some of his older videos and sure enough he lives in Richmond Virginia which I don't live in I live in Midlothian Virginia so that's on, on like the other side we live in complete opposite sides of Richmond which is crazy to me because when I went and met with Scott in Powhatan Virginia it, it's six miles less than it's gonna take me to get to Seth's house but 21 minutes longer to get to Seth's house. So that just kind of blows my mind. It tells you, points out how big Richmond is and how condensed it is, um, how much you know traffic and all these different highways and all these different ways to get through Richmond to get from one side to the other, where Scott is already on my side, so I could just take one highway, some back roads, and get there. So that's just crazy. That just puts it in perspective how big Richmond is, and you can go your whole life not even knowing that somebody is there, lives in the same town as you, until you actually meet up somewhere else through social media. So the first time we met in person was at the JE Expo a few years back. We had a lot of different things to talk about around our area and familiar things. And we just stayed in touch ever since, you know, and, uh, you know, whether it was meeting up for lunch or something or calling, texting, bouncing ideas off each other, whatever. We carpooled down to the JE Expo this past year. We really got to know each other a lot more during that trip because it was like a nine hour trip. So he's a really cool guy. He's quiet like me, but once you get to know him, he's got a lot to say and he's a funny guy. So I can't wait to uh, hang out with him for a little bit today. As you can see, for those who watch my tipsy talks, I cleaned up. Normally it's really junky in here, so I, I had company, so I cleaned up. I actually built this shelf. <laughs> nice. Nah, just, uh, just for me? Yeah. <laughs> organized all my junk. And um, I got this for Christmas. It's a little hand tool right for my in-laws. Um, nice. These are my trim right here. Got two PAS 225s, the multi-tool. And a Shindawa T344. Um, this is my daughter's trailer, bike trailer, <laughs> on top of a lawnmower that I got from one of my customers. Um, <laughs> yard vac, the Time Master is mad dirty. <laughs> uh, it's a Astro Van door. I don't know if you want to know the story about behind the Astro Van door. <laughs> you. <laughs> You gotta tell us the story now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't know if anybody has Astro Van, but it has two hinges when you open the door. So when I got my Astro Van, one of the hinges was broke already. So I procrastinated with fixing it, of course, everything, I always procrastinate. <laughs> and eventually it broke. 
And so I went to get it inspected and I didn't really, and so I was actually going out to jobs and I would leave the customer. I'd be like, all right, see you later. And I would crawl in from the passenger <laughs> side across <laughs> to the driver's side to leave. Man. And, and so, um, <laughs> so it, these are the real this is the real life stories here man <laughs> and so um when i went to get it inspected it failed inspection because <laughs> oh, <laughs> i didn't realize that you had to have a working driver's yeah. side door yeah. in order to pass inspection so yeah so um went to chesterfield auto parts and, and me being lazy instead of just changing the handle i said you know what i'm just gonna get a whole new door and I'm going to put it on. <laughs> so when, when they gave me the new door, not only did they not, they, they took off the side view mirror, they took off the hinges that connects to the door. So I would have I had to like cut welds and stuff on the van in order to get the door off. And yeah. So I ended up just like taking the panel off my Astro van and fixing the, the handle the right way. Yeah. And the, the tumbler was messed up, so... I ended up just fixing it, and I already bought a door for <laughs> 70 bucks. so oh, man. now it's here. So now this is a backup door. Yeah, I, I, figured, I figured I would save it, and maybe if I if I got rich one day, I could like, hang it on the wall or something like <laughs> there that. There you go. Yeah, the Astro <laughs> Band door right yeah. there. You can build your own little wall of fame there. Yeah. Sweet. So, yeah, this is, um, I eventually want to turn this into like a little man cave area. I had, this is an old TV, but I want to get a flat screen, put it up there. I got the uh, cooler, um, I mean the refrigerator. I know it's purple. Um, <laughs> my uh, my sister-in-law, she had it in college. But it's filled with uh, oh, red apple ale. yeah. And I got nearly, uh, a red cup in case you wanted to sip something. <laughs> and you got waters and all that, so. Nice. I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, Man, no it sure smells good out here. Yeah, I got the grill going out here. Hey, 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 you don't touch another man's grill. <laughs> Oh man, come on. This is the grill, man. Here it is. I can show you what we're working with. It would be kind of smoky. That's Just good. Put some chips in there. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Woo! We got some chicken, some chicken thighs, some smoked sausages. Look at that smoke coming off there. Yep. Wow. Yep. So, I mean, I know. You know based on watching your videos like you love cooking on the grill like yeah. you, you do this like 24 7 almost like pretty much like, all I, all year long all basically year long. i don't care how cold it is i've i've grilled in the snow this last time it just snowed i was grilling <laughs> <laughs> you have like a little hood or something over I, there I, I like a tarp to, or something you, I used to, it's, um it kind of fell off i put it in, in my trailer ah. but i used to have a tarp over here to, to keep it the moisture off of the smoker but uh, I'm eventually going to build a, uh, a canopy, kind of like I built this shed over here. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. what is this, another another shed? I, yeah. I must have missed. Man, I don't stalk yeah, you enough. Up, I must have missed that. the T-bar right here. Oh. Don't, don't to the T-bar. <laughs> 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 I know you know about the T-bar. Yeah, <laughs> but it snuck up on me there for a minute. I was so like in, in a trance from all of this <laughs> smoke here. Yeah, but uh, my... Um, my neighbor here, he 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 knocked down in his shed, and he like he. Did oh wait wait wait, hold up. Yeah. It's the Mustang. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, yeah, this is why I keep it out. I, I had my shed all jam packed, so I decided to build this so I can put this out here, and I keep it covered in the top right here, but I uncovered it for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Yeah, so my neighbor, he knocked down the shed, and he gave me a whole bunch of wood. Oh, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah okay. So I used the wood to start it. Like, most of the frame is from the wood. You can see these red pieces are from the, his trim on the shed. Okay. <laughs> that's why they're red. Yeah. And so I kind of used it, and I'm eventually going to get the rest of the pieces and, and build it on up. Sweet, man. So that's why I keep all my... I, uh, all this stuff used to be miscellaneous around my yard. <laughs> like uncovered and all yeah. that. And so that's, that's, that's last winter. They got snowed on and I said, I need to build something. So you don't have to, there's there's no like HOA rules or any, like, is this an HOA? Are nope. you in an HOA? <laughs> no. no. All right. Because I mean, sometimes. Maybe too old to yeah. have HOAs. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you never know. Like, I, like the last neighborhood I was in, like, I didn't know it was an HOA, but oh, really? it apparently was an HOA. So yeah. 
um, but their rules are real lenient. So they still had like shed rules and stuff, you know, yeah. like certain things, like the shed had to look like their house and all yeah. that kind of stuff, but they could still park their trailer and truck all on their property. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing you can do any of that because you don't even have any rules, yeah. right? Well, the only, the only rule is, it's kind of a county policy, is that if you have a vehicle parked on your property, it has to be registered. So you can't have like a, a unregistered vehicle. It has to have like a plate or, you know, be registered with the county. That's the only rule. Other than that, I kind of try to strategically hide everything back here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just recently got this, right? Yeah. It's a 2010 Titan. Um, I, I love it. It's, it's, I was, when I originally started looking for trucks, I was looking for like a, a diesel and I decided to get a gas. And, Cause I figured I wasn't really gonna be towing a lot of stuff. So I didn't really need a diesel anyway, so. <laughs> nice. Uh, so it's a good, I, I, I like it. The main part I like about it is I could fit in the back. Because <laughs> I said I'm nice. tall. If I got to sit in the back, I want to. I was looking at the um, the Toyota Tundra. Yeah. And they have the the half half door, and then they have the Mega Cab. And so I couldn't fit in the back of that one with the half door. So. Uh, and the Mega Cab, you got to have a little coin. To get yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. So this was a good a good happy medium here. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nice. I hear Nissan is pretty good just like Toyota so yeah it's great them, them engines run a long time I hear yeah it has, it has a lot of features and one thing I didn't know about when I before I bought it is that it has a lot of like an oil cool it, it, it has a system to cool the oil to cool the transmission fluid to cool the steering fluid so all that stuff um, is meant for towing so you know it, it helps the truck last a little longer and I didn't even know that before I got it but I lucked out <laughs> <laughs> So is this a relatively new grill? Uh, I don't remember when, like, have you always had this or yeah. uh, like since you've been on YouTube and stuff? Oh no, oh, I've yeah. had it for about two years. Okay. And my parents got it for me. <laughs> my parents always helped me out. But they got it for <laughs> Gotta my love family. Yeah, they got it for one of my birthdays, I think like two years ago. And I love it because I can smoke on this side and then I can grill on this side. So this is an actual gas grill. Ah, yeah, that's I, sweet. I took all the fat from the chicken and I grilled that for Rocky. So nice, Rocky's <laughs> your dog. Yeah, what kind of dog is he? He's a border collie. Where is he at? Get him. He's, he's in there. He'll be, <laughs> he'll be barking all loud and stuff. <laughs> There's Rocky. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> he's gonna sniff me out. He's gonna sniff me on the low, <laughs> and then walk off. Right, buddy. <laughs> Gonna get a little tipsy talk in. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What you drinking? A little Mike's hard apple ale. Nice. No, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's my third one or whatever. <laughs> nice. I'm just drinking water because I gotta drive home. It's like 44 minutes it took me to get here. I'm on the other side of Richmond, like it blows my mind that like it takes me that long to get here. It yeah. like, you know, Powhatan is six miles less from my house and was 20 minutes shorter. Yeah. So it's crazy. So but. Imagine, imagine when we went to uh, Louisville and we drove eight hours back and then I got to drive back from your house. And I'm like, oh, God, I get you're like, we're finally home. And then I, oh, wait a minute, I got to drive oh, another 45 minutes. man, <laughs> you're right about that now. I, that, now I put that all into perspective. Wow, I forgot about that. Well, yeah. anywho, I have a long trip back yeah. and I'm just going to be sipping on some water, you know, not spending a night or nothing, but uh, <laughs> so. Um, but so what 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 started Tipsy Talk? You got a lot of creative um, different series, you know, like the 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 uh, you know Leaf Apocalypse and all these different <laughs> types of shows, and you know um, the Triminator is a new yeah. one I saw. You got some you know Lawn and Order. You got some some cool things you're doing uh, back in these streets, right? You got, yeah. you got some really interesting creative titles, and uh, whatever started Tipsy Talk. Uh, Tipsy Talk was dumb luck. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Isn't that how it always works? <laughs> I um, 
I just um, I just made a video one day and I, I think if I can remember correctly I think it was lawn care is like the NBA I, I, I have no idea where I came up with that analogy but if you go back and watch the video you'll see but so that was the very first video I believe so <laughs> I, I, I didn't call it a tipsy talk but people started calling it a tipsy talk in the comments because you was drink, you was you was sipping <laughs> yeah and so I came back and I did a second one did a third one and now probably I don't know how many I did 60 or something like that <laughs> <laughs> nice 60 or and tipsy talk was born yeah yeah so what I mean what is like really like the mindset for tipsy talk is it like a specific type of conversation that you're having with the audience or what or well basically um I feel like you know a lot of people my first my first couple of ones were like 25 minutes and it was just me talking and and I said well I don't want to make these long videos and people were like well we like the long videos you know we like to see the casualness and, and it almost feels like we're hanging out in the garage yeah, yeah. so people liked it and you know I, I just said I just keep on doing it and give the people what they like <laughs> <laughs> that's there you go give them what they want yeah sweet um so how how has uh social media or if it has how has it affected your business in any way not really <laughs> and it's, it's kind of weird to say because i most people i guess they make videos and and um you know people recognize them or or they get business from it i've probably run into two two three people that are actually in this area that watch my videos and most of the time other um when i leave the area i go other places they notice me <laughs> versus people in the area notice me and so you know but i mean i didn't really do it for um start making videos for um the business my business i just did it to kind of document my, my growth yeah i yeah. gotcha i gotcha well what about what about your personal life then or just you know outside of your business life how, how has lawn care affected you i'm sure it has because i know it has me and anyone that's been on youtube for any length of time putting regular content out there it's it's got to have an impact on you somehow yeah um um I mean, well, time, it's kind of time consuming, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Know. People don't realize how time consuming it is. Yeah. And, <laughs> this uh, is actually the 50th take of just this right here. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, like I said, it's time consuming, especially now that I have a, a family, a daughter, you know, yeah. and everything. And I, I um, you know, I have to go and I have a full time job, so I have to go work for their work there. Then I get off and I, I go and I cut grass. Then I go pick up my daughter, come home, sleep, wake up, and I do it all over again. You know. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What um? I mean, why did why did you start YouTube in the first place? Like, what what is what was even your goals? Well, actually, I'm a big fan of YouTube. Like, I used to, I always one of my favorite YouTubers is still to this day. Uh, it's Chris Jones. He does fitness, and he's, he he does fitness channel. He's from Texas, and he started just being a trainer, and he made a YouTube channel. Had him and his friend, and he ended up blowing up. And you know, I just love that fact of you know, you know, he got to document his growth yeah. of when he started as a, a little trainer, and now he's training people online and whatnot. So. I said I need to document my growth of my business. So, 2013, I said, you know what? I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and I'm gonna document everything I do, and that way I I have a video catalog record of the growth of my business. Yeah. yeah. So it was 2013, like when you officially like started your business. Yeah. 2000. Seth the lawn surgeon. Yeah. 2013. 2013. <laughs> February. It's actually, I, I tell people this, not that it matters, but the same month that Geek the Freak started his channel. <laughs> nice. But of nice. course, we went in <laughs> different, different directions. directions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so but so you've been around the like this kind of YouTube and online social media community that that we have that we have in lawn care and landscape. You were there right in the beginning, and because uh, I mean, I remember Geek the Freak was there right from the beginning. I remember. 
I, I don't know the timing, but I know it was early on that I just stumbled upon Geek the Freak and then yourself and uh, Blake, you know, B&B and a couple other guys, Brian from Top Notch Lawn Care. Those were like a lot of the early, um, you know, YouTubers that were just kind of putting out some regular content about lawn care and whatever. Um, and then there's a lot of other guys that have kind of come and gone over the time. I remember, not to cut you off, I remember when Blake, I don't know if you remember this, when Blake first started, see this is this is OG lawn care YouTuber stuff right here. <laughs> <clears throat> when Blake first started, he used to never talk on his videos. Yeah, <laughs> he would just put the put the cameras on the bunch, fence, and, and he music. would just stripe the mess out of it, man. He would like. <laughs> He was like the king of stripes. Yeah. He would just be like, bang, bang. And I would just sit there and like watch those first videos. Like, man, this kid yeah. is killing it, yeah. man. Yeah, it was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. Everybody was watching it. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then uh, honestly, I'm not sure, but I think, um, and this, I've said this early on when I've started this, this new series, um, Brian Shane with Top Notch Lawn Care, and he had done. You remember he had done like his version of of interviewing, where he where uh, he kind of yep. combined, he edited our videos together, mm -hmm. so that it was kind of like he was interviewing us, like from a distance, um, instead of actually coming to like our, our our house and everything. So he was doing that, and I remember Blake was one of them, obviously that he did, and I remember that. To me, I felt like that was one of the first times he actually talked on camera. Mm -hmm. And you could tell he looked really uncomfortable and just not familiar with it, which we all went through that, you know, like yeah. at some point or another. And even still, sometimes we just kind of like, what, what are we even saying? You lose your train of thought or whatever. But it's definitely not an automatic thing for everyone to just be able to look at a, a, an inanimate object and start talking to it. Yeah, or, <laughs> I mean, or, or sitting in, in the middle of a yard with a lawnmower behind you and and do an interview <laughs> exactly 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 what the neighbor is probably like what is even going on but they might be used to it by now all the tipsy talks and different yeah. videos you shoot here and stuff they're like oh yeah. that's Seth again doing yeah. something crazy yeah seven o'clock in the morning I'm like what's going on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly that's great um so why did you get into lawn care um well um, my uncle, he, he was, uh, sick and he couldn't cut his grass. So my dad asked me to, you know, I had at the time, I, all I had was my Dodge Magnum, a four by six trailer. And so I went and, um, loaded up my push mower. I had like a 20, 21 inch push mower and I went and cut his grass and the whole time I'm cutting his grass, I'm thinking like, you know what? I could be making some money. You know, I'm like, I'm cutting his grass and everybody else's grass needs to be cut. And so, I, and it's crazy because I never thought about cutting grass beforehand. You know, I, I always did my yard and I was so into my yard and I would seed it and, 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 and sit there for like an hour and watch it water, <laughs> water it. But um, um, I never thought about like how much I like to be outside and, mm. and cut grass. So, and I made, went home, made some flyers, handed them out, and 2012, that's I started handing out flyers, and that's when I started doing it. You know. Nice. So, is is your goal, is your goal to like build this business like beyond just yourself and like uh, to be like a big business, I guess, for lack of a better explanation. Yeah. I mean, I, I know you have a, you obviously have a full time job. We kind of mentioned that a little bit already, um, but. So do you ever plan on like transitioning away from that and just focusing only on lawn care or doing a little of both or what? Yeah, I, my goal is to f go full time. It's just to leave my, my full time job, cut grass and not only um, have that as my, my, my main income, but have it as my retirement, you know, build it to a business where I can get to a point where I can stop cutting and I still have people cutting for me. Yeah. You know. So someone on Facebook, Tyler, had asked, um, he asked, how long did it take for you to get enough, to get big enough to hire one or two employees in your lawn care business? Well, actually, I lucked out about that. My cousin, well, of course, you know, when you start a business, family's always going to be asking you, hey, you know, let me know if you need some help, you know. And so one of my cousins, they told me, they used to, he, that's BJ, he used to work for another lawn care company and he said, if you need any help, let me know. So um, like I said, I lucked out because I really didn't have to train him. You know, he already knew 
what to do and how to cut, how to trim. Yeah, and he so, spoiled you. <laughs> That's what happened to me. I had I, I had a guy help me out a couple summers ago, and he already had his own little business, you know, like a, a young kid mm -hmm. cutting lawns. And I'm like, man, I don't got to worry about nothing. This guy, just tell him once he knows, he's, it's it, you know. Yeah. It's, it spoils you, you know. I'm afraid now. <laughs> and and when, when I first started to get him to come out, I think I had a probably about between 14 to 15 customers like regular customers and so i would use him i told him i said i can't i can't get you to come out every week but you know i can call you whenever i need you and that's what i did whenever i had any big jobs i would call him and he would come out and he was fine with that and he would come out every once in a while then once i got to probably over 20 yards between 20 and 25 that's when it was more regular you know that's when I kind of needed him so I mean to answer his question when you get to the point where you kind of look at your schedule for the day and you sigh <laughs> you kind of say I got I got 12 yards today that's when probably you probably need to start looking at you know or yeah. maybe you know if it's kind of spread out or you know you kind of need some help you know what i mean yeah yeah you, you, that's when you know, probably need to try to hire somebody or something like that <laughs> gotcha and uh, so how, how many people do you have now like working for you oh working for me i have two people um bj and clay yeah. okay and it is it was clay someone else that like you knew or bj's friend or something yeah, like that BJ's, or, friend. bj's friend there like you i go. said like i really got spoiled because not only so bj he, he he does crossfit and he works at a crossfit out at crossfit gym and so he said you know hey i got this friend you know he used to have a lawn care business <laughs> oh man and so he said, he said i said all right you know let's meet him so we went out we had um, met at a restaurant we, we talked and he used to have a lawn care business and now he's he down here going to school and he came out like I said, same thing as BJ. I didn't have to tell him anything. He just went. I said, hey, "Can you do this? Can you do that?" Yep. He went out and did it, and I had um, employee number two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know? Whatever works, right? Yeah. I mean, that's good, man. Um, them opportunities, you got to just utilize them when you can. So, mm -hmm. so do you plan on? continuing to keep growing your business and trying to now actually find employees that aren't necessarily like in school <laughs> yeah 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 that's actually because um clay this year he he's actually looking to get into an internship during the summer so that might kind of hinder him cutting grass yeah you know? yeah so with that i said maybe i need to find somebody that's not in school and can help me cut you know all year long or work all year long so that's what I'm probably going to try to do now. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. It's been great. Thanks for having me for the interview. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go to Naylor's channel. It's Rookie. I'm going to used to be Lawn Care Rookie. It's just Rookie now, right? <laughs> no, now it's LCR. So okay, LCR <laughs> I just condensed everything, just made it <laughs> LCR, just to make it easier yeah. for everybody. All right. So make sure you go to his channel so you can see the video of our interview and see the upcoming videos. And you, um, he wants you to follow the playlist. Um, and so it'll, you, it'll get all the interviews. Anywho, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and... Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you check out Seth's channel so you can see the behind the scenes footage. And thanks for watching. Yes, sir. <laughs>